Well, well, well. It looks like Watch Mojo has made another um, top 20 Dead by Daylight Killer t um, list. Uh, last time they did a um, top 10 list, and they got dunked on by everyone. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't need to explain them why that video was so bad because not only was it like completely inaccurate, um, they also showed people like um, a T pagging the guy at the exit gate. Okay, so judging by the footage I'm here, it looks like that you know um, they at least like got people um killed, which is good. Hopefully they've improved. Um. Okay, I think um Tyler is the um, um, one who did last year, so I'm not sure if if if, if it's a different guy. We'll have, we'll have to see. But yeah, but yeah, let's watch it and see if this is any good. So you know, okay. Is this the same guy, or is it? Okay, so this is like um, creatively, I think. Um, wait, wait, let's see. Okay, so fun and creatively designed killers. Okay, okay, so this isn't. So this isn't, you know. Um, I haven't played Vecna, so I can't really say anything here. The big bad of Dungeons and Dragons comes with a weapon wheel loaded up with some handy spells that allow him to maintain control of a chase and even find survivors. That I'm not sure about that. Okay. Will give an idea of where survivors are while temporarily neutralizing whatever magical items they may be wielding. Mage hand is a great way to deny the survivors of a pallet drop or even vault one if you throw them off guard. Fly can also help Vecna maintain a decent control across large distances while potentially giving him some value in distance-based perks like make your choice. As for his fourth spell, Flight of the Damned, it's okay, a he's... slow to start up and easy for survivors to dodge. Which is what gets him slapped onto the bottom of this list. Oh wait, what was it say? Slow to start up and easy for survivors to dodge. Which is what gets him. It's way too. Like make your choice. As for his fourth spell, Flight of the Damned, it's way too slow to start up and easy for survivors to dodge. I'm not sure about that. Um, although, although I haven't played Vecna, so you know um. I'm not an expert at all, so I'm not qualified to, to, to talk about him. Number 19, the Oni. I mean, I think he should probably like be a bit up, up and higher if this, is, if, if this is a fun tier list, because, you know, um, I think... Because I think he is quite fun. I will say this, I think Oni should be a bit higher because, you know, um, uh, it can be fun like dashing around and doing duckers and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, let's just, just continue. I mean, typically you're supposed to like um, I like do demon dash and then do that. I think that's a bit of a skill issue. Um, um, well, because you know, um, 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 even though you glide with rocks, it doesn't kick you out of your power like the hillbilly. Well, well which means you can basically just like um, um, move around the rocks. 
and um, and then you know do a strike. But yeah, continue. The lever point is your opinion. Again, you are uh, charging that up way too much. Okay, so um, okay, so I'm glad that they specified that that this was a fun tier list and not. I'm glad that they specified that this is a fun um, 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 list and not a best killers list because um, if the, if this was a best killers list um, and um, 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 was placed at eighteen, um, yeah. Although I. Although I think the comments kind of like, um, kind of, you know, um, um, <laughs> let's spoil that a bit, but yeah. Things may have an incredibly hard time avoiding her attack. The nurse can blink across short distances, making her movement seem unpredictable. Your only means of defense is to try and play mind games with her and make her blink in the wrong direction. Well, for a killer that sounds this oppressive, why is she only at number 18? Oh boy. Whereas PC players might get a grasp on the nurse quickly, the same cannot be said for console players or those who prefer using a controller over mouse and keyboard. When used by Well, your frame rate is not not really that great. Awkward and clunky to control, and her slow I agree. Does not help. Fun killer, but man, she requires a ton of patience to get a hang of. Number 17, Pyramid Wait, hold on. Didn't you say that that this was a fun list and not a best killer list? If so, why is she even on the list? Unless, of course, you um have um 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 unless you know she's more fun than the than the other viewers that well, that you didn't include. But oh well. I suck at him. You, you got lucky with that one. This video, most of Pyramid Head's add-ons are pretty useless. Even so, his power gives him a level of control and surveillance of the map. Pyramid Head can leave behind trails that inflict torment on any survivor who carelessly pass through them unless they're crouch watching. Okay, um, yeah, those survivors were idiots. They, 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 they deserve that. said survivor is at death hook and is inflicted with torment, well, they could be subjected to a quick and unceremonious exit. Yeah, Pyramid Head does have the potential to end games fast, but that's if everyone is playing too recklessly and if the player is placing trails in good spots. Here's hoping those add-ons soon buff him just a tad more. I think he's a relatively bound killer. Um, again, you said at the beginning of the video that this was a fun list. <laughs> Make up your mind. <laughs> but oh well. Number 16, Leatherface, aka the cannibal. Okay. Bye bye time. I thought he was going to bump in. Chainsaw to down survivors, regardless of what health state they're in. This has led many Bubba players to come up with utterly oppressive builds like Basement Bubba that can potentially end games before half of the I mean, yeah, but Basement Bubba is fairly uncommon, if we're being honest. However, missing a chainsaw sweep could cost you time in a chase or straight up lose a survivor if you wind up in a tantrum. Trust us, that collision can be unforgiving sometimes. I mean, to be fair, that's usually due due to a skill issue because you know, um, if um, if you bump into something, it's usually your fault. And even it's not that long. Okay, so I haven't played the unknown either, so you know, I'm I'm not qualified to talk about him. So I'm so I'm I'm so we'll hear him out. Off 
scarred. The only way survivors are able to limit its mobility is by carefully approaching these husks and interacting with them. This can leave them vulnerable for quite some time while allowing the unknown to land free hits. There is another attack the unknown has access to, the UVX projectile. Though it can potentially damage survivors already inflicted by its weakness effect, landing these shots can be somewhat cumbersome as the projectile always bounces off the first surface it makes contact with. Okay. Yeah, you can make some incredible plays with it, but in some situations, its collision detection can make it a bit frustrating to use. Um, I'm not sure about that one well, because um, I'm, 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 I have heard that the unknown is really good, although I um, I'm, I'm, although I don't play him and I haven't really seen much of him, so you know I can't really say if that's accurate or not. But um, I'm pretty sure um he is considered to be quite strong and liked what by the community generally. But yeah. Still, it does make the unknown an extremely versatile killer. Another advert. Performance indeed. It is important to note that Wester is a killer with a bit of a learning curve. Though he can grab an item. Uh, I disagree. I think he. I think he's pretty easy to um, to play. Um, why is he difficult to learn? Um. I will say um, it's nice that he's actually getting footage um, of um, um, him actually like downing survivors and you know um doing well this time. <laughs> Although the footage um in like what well, the what well, the basket and such um, is just the um, it's just the surprise being bad, but at least um he's actually getting hooks this time instead of you know being teed back at the exit gate. So we've learned from that. Uh, what? No, Billy and Blight moved the fastest. <laughs> and arguably Hag too. I mean, only moves fast as well if you get, you know, his blood fury. And Spirit is arguably faster than him, as long as she has the phase. But yeah, um. I won't deny that Wester is fast, but he's nowhere near as fast as either Billy or um or Blight. Like, sorry, that's just not true. Wait a minute. Okay, so oh, Okay, so he says size. Okay, so he said sizable terror radius. Um, uh, Wester has the largest terror radius in the game. Don't get me wrong, that can screw over survivors. Well, but um, saying you'll catch them off guard is um, 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 not really true. Um, although he does have like perks to extend his terror radius and you know um, affect survivors with porophobia and a nerving presence. I think um, 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 um yeah um. I think that's what he means. Actually, let me rewind that because I want to hear what he said again. Of all the killers in the game, he moves the fastest and has a rather sizable terror radius. Ah. Um, <laughs> ah. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I misinterpreted that. Sorry. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's 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 continue. Yep. Keep your opponents guessing where you might be on the map. Yeah. Number 13. Yeah, I agree with what I said on Wesker. Okay, um I was spoiled by this by the comment section, but why is Pig here? She um she is literally one of the weakest killers in the game. Um, 
<laughs> um, for chat as well, while it does slow down survivors, um, um, realistically, don't really um, 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 do much. Um, and you know, um, she can go undetectable while crouched. Um, and do a dash, uh, do a dash attack at loops. But um, yeah, she's not really that good. Okay. Poor Amanda can be an easy killer to bully when slipped to use certain builds, but in a normal game, she can be just as dirty. The pigs can crouch and become undetectable on the fly. You just said that she gets bullied by Swifts. I guess you mean that she, you know, um... I guess you mean that she, um, does well against um, solo queue, but, um... But even um, then, um, but, but even then, she's not that good. I'm also noticing that you have well this um, this add-on and the tamper timer. This add-on, I think, like gives you an extra trap. What about it? <laughs> but increases the timer and the tamper timer um, decreases the timer. Why would you run these two add-ons together? That seems a bit contradictory. Um, um, because you know they're not going to blow up their um, um heads uh, anyway. It can make her tough to spot in grassy or plant-filled realms like backwater swamp or Greyland Glenvale. But what really can handle wait, 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 say. And become undetectable on the fly, which can make her tough to spot in grassy or plant-filled realms like backwater swamp or Greyland Glenvale. But what... I disagree with that, um, especially since you know um or, um. Uh, Especially since um, crouching slows her down. <laughs> okay, so realistically, what what you want to do with it um, is like um, crouch just well, well before you um, you are about to approach a gen um, um, just to maybe um, catch survivors off guards. Well, but yeah, um, when you're out like in the open and not in an indoor map, it's really easy to um, spot the pig. Again, not really. They're only useful for slowdown, not not for head pops, um, um, and even then, they're not really that much big. Uh, and even then, they're not really that big of, big of an obstacle. The pig can place these on the heads of down survivors. When a gen is completed, the traps timer activates. Okay. If survivor failed to find the right key in one of the jigsaw boxes spawned around the map. Well, suddenly it's not so fun wearing a hat the whole game now, is it? Number 12. Okay. Hey, Billy. Um, I mean, um, um, I mean, the survivors aren't usually going to, you know, get head popped. Um, 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 anyway, so, yeah. I feel like by the time this video should be um, um, out, he should be like like in like the top five or or maybe like seventh, um, because you know um, Billy is really good with really good with, with our charge Billy. Although I'm pretty sure he's about to get nerfed in a upkilling patch. So um, yeah, there. I think it'll um, um, still be good though, especially since you know um, you know um, you can like um. I've been spam that chain, so I'll do your heart's delight. Man, this is dark. Since we did our okay, um, I don't know why you um did um uh, um did you know and um, um, I don't know why you showed footage of you know dying as a fire with an M1 instead of you know um doing. Um, uh, instead of dying to survive with a chainsaw, that's a bit of an odd decision. Um, um, to show that instead, but oh well. Let's continue. List way back in 2021, the hillbilly has seen a pretty substantial change in how he plays. While he still has access to his chainsaw sprint to rush towards unsuspecting survivors, yeah. the reworked overdrive mechanic now gives him some benefits to overusing the chainsaw. 
What do you mean, some benefits? Bruh, okay, so... One, you could have emblemed the survivor with a with, with basic attack. Um, um, instead of, you know, um, chainsawing. Uh, second, um, um, second, uh, okay, I, 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 I can, I can believe I forgot what I was going to say. Let, let's, let's continue. Oh yeah, I remembered, um, why would you show footage of you missing an easy chainsaw hit? That, um, that just makes you look bad. Oh, wait a minute, I'm just rewind. At the expense of a slight increase to charging up for a sprint, the hill really gets a reduced cooldown on sprints and an increase hmm? to charging up for a sprint. At the expense of a slight increase to charging up for a sprint, the hill really gets a reduced cooldown on sprints and an increase in movement speed during a sprint. Basic oh, wait, what'd you say? him some benefits to overusing the chainsaw. At the expense of a slight increase to charging up for a sprint. No. Um, no, that's the eerie add-on doing that. Um, 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 that is the eerie add-on that it um, uh, that's the red add-on that that's you know increasing the charge time, not the um, uh, not the overcharge. Um, uh, uh, did you even read the add-on when you equipped it? Small tiles getting in your way because the gods of collision can be ruthless. I mean, realistically, I mean, realistically, collision shouldn't be a, too much of a problem um, as long as you're good at curving and you know, catch a sur 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 survivors in you know, um, an open area. <laughs> but yeah. A, you got um, a successful curve. I don't know why you didn't use that at the beginning of um, the of the footage instead of you know like missing a chainsaw or like downing a survivor, a survivor with, with a basic attack. Oh well. Number eleven, Dracula, aka the Dark Lord. Okay, so I haven't really played Dracula as well. Um, I'm. I'm I might consider buying him because of the rift and the cosmetics, but um, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm not sure how good he is, but um, I think he um, is pretty fun for people. Um, I don't know, I'm, I haven't really heard what, what much about him. I mean, I know what his power is, but I don't know what people really think of him. Okay, so one complaint I have with this um, is that you specified at the beginning that this is a fun tier list, well, but then you like ranted about um, how um, 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 good um, slash um, limitations like Kira's had. Um, make up your mind because you know, um, um, <laughs> because you're, you're kind of contradicting yourself um, a, a, a bit. Hold on, hold on. ...has quickly cemented himself as one of the most fun killers to play in the game. With his pillars of hellfire, he can injure or down survivors from across small tiles, or even cause pillars to spawn around him or the exit gate, depending on what add-ons are being used, of course. Okay. Nice. Although that was why I, um, I bought, but okay. His most important powers are his shape-shifting ability. As a swarm of bats, Dracula can teleport to various windows and drop pallets to possibly flank survivors. As 
numbers will form, we can find survivors more easily as scratch marks form closer together and in a more linear fashion. Honestly, you'll feel just as unstoppable as he was back in the NES days. Okay. Number 10, the Nemesis. Okay, Nemesis again. Although Wesker's death attacks can be tough but satisfying to land, Nemesis... Again, Wesker's dash attacks aren't really that hard to land. I say they're pretty much on the same skill level as his tentacle. Of Nemesis tentacle. I don't really agree. It's just basically just um a basic attack. Well, by extended, it you have to hit three times, and you know um it it hits through power. It's not really. Wait, 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 wait. What did you say? And Nemesis brings a whole other sinister game. Nemi can power up his tentacle strikes by hitting survivors with them, eventually letting him break pallets and extend his reach. I mean, yeah. The most satisfying aspect of his hit are the zombies. I disagree. The zombies can be a bit... Um, <laughs> actually, no, they can lead to some funny um, s scenarios and, um, and, can, and can come occasionally... Um, in handy, but yeah, they are a bit inconsistent. Um, and I just got by blocked. Another ad. Another ad. between a rock and a hard place, making them choose between taking a hit from you, the zombie, or risking a hit from both of you simultaneously and getting downed instantly. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, but that's a bit rare. The zombies can lead to some hilarious moments and chases, and it's why Nemesis is our preferred killer between two Resident Evil rocks. I mean, yeah, the zombies can be funny. Okay. Okay, so um, <laughs> okay, so it seems like now um they're leading into the whole like fun aspect, like they said in the um, at the start. Watchers were once an almost guaranteed safe haven to keep killers from finding them, but if you know. Okay, that is objectively not true because no one hides in lockers except do you know do barbecue and chili or. Um, or if you're like um you using quick and quiet and stuff, I mean like literally no one hides in lockers. With watchers have unlocked on them. Congratulations, you have found yourself in a game with the dregs. This blob of flesh and darkness uses watchers to teleport to various areas of the map, and if he teleports to a locker you're hiding in, you'll be instantly grabbed and ready to be hooked. Again, no one really uh, hides in lockers, and if you're going to like lock a locker and you get grabbed by the d d drench, if anything, that's a form of bad luck because you know, um, um, because you know, um, yeah, uh, um, um, it doesn't really happen like much, um, if at all. What makes it more troublesome is the nightfall mechanic. Every time the dredge teleports or injures or hooks survivors, nightfall gets closer to activation. Once it reaches okay. the charge. Survivors are suddenly shrouded in almost complete darkness while being much more visually prominent in the dredge's vision. Mobility I mean, yeah. and temporary periods of explicit info are what make the dredge a real monster in this game. I mean, uh, 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 I mean, dredge isn't really that strong. Um, I mean, he's kind of like on the weaker side. Uh, <laughs> or at least like high seeds or something. Nice. Number eight, the plague. The plague. Leaning a bit more towards body horror in this corner of DBD, the plague is one of the most difficult killers to go up against. The biggest. 
Um, uh, I'm not sure about um difficult to go up against. Well, but I disagree on like um the body horror thing. Um, because you know all she does is just like vomit, and she and she has no actual re relation to body horror. Unless, of course, vomiting is part of body horror. I don't know. The reason for this is her unique power, Vile Purge. By vomiting onto survivors, and doing so extensively and excessively, the plague can force players into an injured state while inflicting broken, preventing them from healing and forcing them to seek out one of her pools of devotion. Okay. The survivor ignore infection and proceed to interact with gens, pallets, and teammates, the infection can wind up infecting fellow survivors. Okay. This is where survivors must choose between staying infected and injured for a majority of the game or curing themselves. If a survivor cures themselves at a pool of devotion, the plague can go to the pool, ingest the corruption, and turn her vile purge into a projectile that directly injures players just as a regular hit would. The second you hear those mystical chants, run. Okay. Ghost face. I mean, yeah, ghost face is pretty fun, like being a self um, a, a, a killer and stalking people. He can be like really fun, but yeah, he um isn't really that strong. <laughs> but this is a fun tier list, um, so yeah, we can excuse that. No. You messed up. You messed it. Stumble upon a ghost face that just wants to be goofy and have fun with survivors. The serious ghost face players, they're a different beast altogether. Ghost face is all about hiding from survivors and stalking them until they are fully marked. Upon fully marking a survivor, that player is oblivious to ghost face's whereabouts and is able to be downed in a single stroke. Okay. In some instances, expert ghostface players can mark survivors while chasing them, but that requires some finesse. Um, I disagree that but that that you have to be an, an expert ghostface to do that. Um, I mean, um, I don't consider myself an expert ghostface, and I like to do that like all the time. But, but anyway. In looping around a strong tile, all while hoping in the wait, 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 but that requires some finesse in looping around a strong tile, all while hoping another survivor doesn't out you. Um, 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 I mean, half true, half not true. Um, I mean, it's not that hard to like um, avoid like getting revealed if you like keep on crouching or going behind corners and stuff. Well, but yeah, if um, but um, but yeah, um, another survivor can like like kick you out and stuff. But yeah, so yeah. Okay, I agree with the fact that he. Um, I agree with the fact that that he's easy to pick up, um, um, <laughs> but I disagree that but that he'll take time to master because um he is pretty easy to um to master I think. Number six, the huntress. Okay, I'd say this is a pretty fair spot. Where players are nailing hatchet throws from ridiculously long distances. That's pretty much why we regard the Huntress so highly when looking at the most fun killers. Landing hits with a hatchet lob can be satisfying in short distance yeah. chases, even when the chase boils down to playing mind games around a tile. But on the off chance that you try to lob a hatchet from halfway across the map and suddenly hear it hit, holy crap, you will wind up laughing your way to the gym and the hook. Fun for you, not so much for the survivors. Not with that wonky collision detection, of course. I mean, yeah, true that. I mean, true the collision is bad for both sides. It's it's not really that fun though. I mean, yeah. Of 
to go back to the jeep in a small area in front of him. Briefly flying survivors will cause them to scream and temporarily prevent them from vaulting windows and dropping towers. Yeah. I don't know why you'd like him show them doing a basic attack instead of like doing a, a, an excellent play there. Um, I feel like that would have been a good, a, 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 a good opportunity, but that's just a nitpick. Add-ons can make his zaps even more distressing, as they may cause survivors to start hearing the dock's terror radius music, see visions of him, or even be cast in the light of his red stain. Depending on their madness level, players may even see... I mean, I mean, I mean, that's only with like certain add-ons, I think. Um, um, is this the, is this the iridescent king or queen? And, but yeah. Bizarre skill checks that can further hinder their progress in healing or repairing gems. Wait, 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 what, wait, what did I say? In the light of his red stain. Depending on their madness level, players may even see bizarre skill checks that can further hinder their progress in healing or repairing gems. Yeah. Drop a bunch of perks on Doctor that cause survivors to scream even more, and you'll have a real party foul. I mean, I think like um, I mean, I feel like I I feel I feel like that scream perks on Doctor is kind of a waste because you know um you already made them scream a lot, but oh well. Okay, I will say this, Jump Scare Myers um, is fun, but um, he's still kind of like an M1 cure that has like stock in order to like get his power. Um, um, he, um, he is probably like the single worst killer in uh, 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 in the game. His tier 3 does have no more potential, but um, yeah, he's not really that good. Requires you to stalk survivors in order to efficiently down and sacrifice them. This means you may lose out on two or three gems before you can make it to max. Okay, you had a, a tombstone and you didn't even pick the, um, her up to kill her. Instead, instead you, you just downed her. Bruh. Achieve this, and Michael can down survivors instantly for a certain period of time. Okay. Okay, 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 there we go. The survivor while their back is turned towards him and kill them instantly. But that alone is what makes Michael fun to play with. It's Halloween all over again. And this time we get to become good. Okay. Um, um okay, I get you want to fill up the meter, but you should have just grabbed her off the gen instead of like stalking because the generator was almost complete. Bruh. Um, 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 just grab her off, kick the gen, and then hook her. You it's not that difficult. Yes. You killed with with, with the tombstone. The okay, so Z okay, so Zeno is um, is another character that I haven't played as um and um um um, 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 um so I can't really comment um, on how um and um, um, how fun it is. I'm pretty sure it's a drone, so Z, I guess. System, the Xenomorph can cover a lot of ground and even detect survivors' footsteps when they're running on the surface. Not only that, but you'll also be notified of a survivor's presence if they're close enough to the tunnel you're exiting from. But what truly makes the Xenomorph one of BBD's most satisfying killers to play with is its long-range tail attack. With its tail, the Xenomorph can injure survivors from the other side of some tiles or objects, and even pallets. So long I mean, it's basically just demo, but better. Although I prefer demo because um, a I actually own demo, and um, I'm, 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 I have got Xeno, so um, yeah. 
with the flamethrower center that continue your speed, no survivor will ever escape your fury. I disagree with that, but okay. Although I'm bad at facing Thino, so, so who am I to talk? I mean, okay. Wait, really? I'm, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't really keep up with, um, with you know, um, 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 um updates anymore. Um, and I wasn't really aware that Chucky got like a rework. Um, oh well. Okay, I disagree that it's tough to land. I think it's relatively easy to to do because you know um curving it up um, up um, up um, up um, up um, 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 is easy and yeah. I not I don't know, but oh well, personal preference and another ad. Okay. And last is gonna be Spirit, right? Yep, up, up, get spirit. I... I'm not sure if I agree with that, but okay. I feel like you're going to get roasted in the comments for that. Uh, um, um, one, I completely disagree that she's the most scary thing. There's like um, more scary characters like Jim Scare Myers, um, up, 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 a ghost face, maybe like Drench, um, and you know, um, definitely the, well, the self killers. Um, <laughs> because the self killers are like definitely like well, well, the scariest, especially like Hag and stuff. Um, I mean, Hag isn't really a self killer, um, and um, also, um, Spear isn't um a, a really um um well, one of the best killers anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong, she's like um great, um, she's still good. Well, but you know, they've um, like well nerfed her and adjusted her, and you know, she's not really as good as she used to be. She's still good, but you know, yeah, not really that good anymore. And she's definitely not the toughest to go against. Because you know she has a lot of counterplay. Very rarely do killers integrate an element of true horror into their mechanics, and Spirit shows that approach and creativity beautifully. Okay. Which killer do you like to play the most? Survivors, who would you say is the killer you struggle with the most? For me, I like to play with Nemesis a lot, and the killer I struggle against most of the time is Ray. I can't stand Ray. But what Bruh. Wraith. Seriously? I... <laughs> oh well.
Okay, so I was expecting to come out of this video to like dislike it, but um, I guess um, you know um, this list is pretty like well respectful as it's a fun tier list. Um, although um, he does like kind of like contradict himself a bit uh, um, in the video, um, and um, <laughs> um, in which you know um, um, how do I put this? Um, okay, so he said at the beginning that it was a fun tier list and this is a fun tier list well but then he like um, goes on about some um, how like good they are which um well which well which kind of like com completely invalidates it um uh, his point and he like um like does that bit well but i guess so we'll, we'll, like by like um um, um well but i guess by like halfway through the video like um it was still more about like um how fun it was again but yeah I I'm, I'm not gonna look at the comments right now. I'm 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 probably gonna look at the comments after this video. But oh well. Anyway, I'm, I'm just going to edit this video and upload it. And yeah. Bye.